It's the third day after the city enforced a court order which enforces its bylaws. But for now, it seems as those living on the streets here in Albertus Road are going nowhere. Bongani Bongo says the committee is trying to secure a meeting with the UNHCR, City of Cape Town, Home Affairs and Refugee Steering Committee. If they can't abide by any of these laws, then we want to approach government to say they must be deported back to their home countries where they come from. Because the city of Cape Town now is held in ransom by them, with, with them wanting to fight the law enforcement agencies. I think South Africans are not taking it light that uh, people who are non-South Africans want to fight with the law enforcement agencies. And it sets a wrong precedent and it is getting unacceptable. A report by Home Affairs on the exact number of asylum seekers is in the process of being completed. We were presented uh, yesterday by a clear statistics of uh, how many are asylum seekers, how many are here for, for the um, jobs, economic migrants. So what we are saying now, Home Affairs will be finalising that particular report. The city of Cape Town has meanwhile indicated that it will have a media briefing on Thursday on efforts taken to resolve the conflict, as well as to map out the way forward. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.